What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Melina in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks that you need to know, some best strategies to put in place, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody knows what we're talking about. Now to start off with the bread and butter for Melina, including her mix-ups and her normals, she's got some pretty good stuff, man. She's got some good overheads and lows that can go into some awesome combos. First and foremost, we have her one-two combo. As you see, it's a three-hit combo from a two-input combo. So two inputs, three hits, and that is cancelable into some specials, of course. We have our 2-1 combo, and the reason why both of those are pretty familiar is because both of those can end with the grab. So you can do 1-2 grab or 2-1 grab. 1-2 grab or 2-1 grab. I had to bring up Melina's ball move. Of course, it's her classic move. And the reason why I bring it up instantly is because what's really cool about Melina, she can do that when she lands on the ground pretty dang fast. And why that's so important is because most characters can't really combo off of an air four, but Melina sure can. Like, so you would hit four and then ball, now you got a combo. Or you can do your air special down back four, your air ball, and try that out. She's really got a nice, simple two-hit combo with her 3-4, and that's also an overhead. And I found that 3-4 goes really well after her ball, like so. Lena's got some decent low options. First and foremost, you have your 4-1, 4-4. Four four four. That ends in a low. It's also another great way to end combos that you might do. Melina also has a 4-2-4 combo here that is a low, and the reason why I bring that part up, because the combo fully is 4-2-4-2, or you can do 4-2-4-3-3 like this, and continue the lows, again, great low options. But what I like the most is a 4-2-4 option to then cancel into specials like the ball. Now talking about Melina's normal, she's got a good kick with her standard four, and it doesn't look like much, but what's great about it is you can hit that after a lot of the ball moves or special moves, and that cancels into the fatal blow, like this. Melina's best wake up options are gonna be her teleports, her down back two, and her down forward two, and the reason why is down back two in hand to get armor. And you can see that in action right here. But then Melina's down forward teleport switches sides. So the reason why that's a good wake up is because people are gonna, you know, kind of pressure you by going to where you're laying down. You're gonna switch sides with your teleport and completely catch them off guard. Like this. There are two major components to Melina's kit, and that's really getting the ball rolling, literally. The ball is gonna be such a staple move in almost all your combos. It's just a massive setup that you just can't ignore. Plus, Melina does have great projectiles like her back forward one and are back forward three. As you see there, they don't go full screen unless you enhance them, then they do. Now Melina's low size, the down forward three enhance, is just a projectile, but if you enhance her back forward one, it's still a projectile, but watch what happens here. We don't just hit them, we go in for a grab, and it stuns them getting ready for a combo. Let's go. So it's not a bad idea to throw out your size enhanced. And then the next staple she's got is, of course, her teleport. She even has a teleport in the air, her down back two. And keep in mind, the down back two on the ground, you kind of stay where you're at. You see how we kind of teleport back to where we're at? But the up teleport, the down forward two, switches sides. Just keep that in mind as you're using your teleports. You're going to be crisscrossing quite a bit, and you want to make sure you know where you're going to be going so you do the right inputs. She's got two air specials, her down back two, her teleport, and her down back four, the air ball. And we can use the air ball in air combos as well. You see here, Melina has two major air combos. We have one, two, two, and then we have two, two, three. I'm not gonna lie to you, most of the time, you're actually gonna be using just the two, two, or the full one, two, two for a bounce up to continue your combo. So to show this off, we're gonna do one, two, which is an overhead, by the way, into our down forward two enhanced. Get in the air to do a combo, and I'll show you what both one, two, two look like and the two, two, three. Here's the one, two, two part. From there, we can then do a ball and continue, or you can just do the two, two, three. And that's great, but as you can see, it knocks our opponent kind of far away, which isn't always a bad thing, because you might want that situation to then teleport, 
kind of depends on what you want to do. Or you can do just the 2-2 into your down back four air special. And here's how that looks. And again, from there, we can do the ball move and continue our combo. On the surface, Molina looks kind of simple, but I'm not gonna lie to you, she's got a lot of sauce going for her. Now for some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Guys, let me know what you think of Molina in the comments down below. Do you like her? Do you hate her? Are you going to main her? Don't forget to subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.